வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் எஸ்ஏபி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் பிளானிங் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் வேரியஸ் ரிப்போர்ட்ஸ் ஆன் பில் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் இட் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன் டு அனலைஸ் பில் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் டூரிங் பிளானிங் ப்ராசஸ் டூரிங் காஸ்டிங் ப்ராசஸ் ஆர் டூரிங் இன்வென்ட்ரி டிஃபரன்சஸ் ஸோ ஷுட் ஹவ் வெரி குட் கிளாரிட்டி ஆன் பில் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் வென் வை சி தம் ஸோ இஃப் வில் டிஸ்கஸ் how to analyze various reports in this section in our course so far we discuss about what is production planning and different production types the organization structure overview of master data for sap production planning then detailed discussion on metal master bom and how to create bom so we start our discussion with what is the level code in bill of material we see the level codes in bill of materials so here we can see the uh, uh, any product when it starts it start with the level 0 right and then the next level bom is called as level 1 bom for example to produce this finished product we need one sub assembly one so another sub assembly component and component 2 these are the level 1 components required to produce this finished product and then from level 1 to produce this sub assembly 1 we need component 3 and component 4 so this is called the level 2 bom the level 1 metal with level 2 components and then the component 3 requires raw material uh, this uh, uh, one to produce component 3 which means this is the level 2 material component 3 to produce that we need to have a level 3 of raw material so there are levels which are defined now if you are seeing the bill of metal for sub assembly starting from here then this is become a level 0 for that and then level 1 here and level 2 here like this it will go on so we need to understand these levels when we do analysis of the bill of materials also when you see the reports we should be able to report, see the reports clearly if you understand these levels also clearly right now how to see the reports the reports can be seen level by level I mean one level by another level or by seeing multi levels of the materials or we can see summarized view, view also the bill of materials can be analyzed in different aspects so what is level by level bom let us understand with the same example the same illustration we will see how the level by level bom is seen for example to produce this finished product we need the first level bom no sub assembly 1 sub assembly 2 component component 2 this is one level and then we want to see the bill of material for sub assembly 1 and sub assembly 2 this is called the next level that is a next level this is what level by level we are seeing now level 2 bom and then to produce this component 3 and component 6 we need other bom's this is the next level so here we are seeing the bill of material step by step right producing the first level what is the, what are the components required and then the next level each one what are the things we required like this we go level by level so this will give you a hierarchical structure of the bill of material and it will be required when we do some analysis of how the bom components are there how the critical points are there how critical work centers which metal is critical to see them this kind of level by level approach will be useful how to see this in sap in sap we can see level by level bom using the transaction code called cs11 after entering this transaction here we will enter the material the plant and the bom application as pp01 so there are different applications for uh, bom so here we are seeing for the production planning purpose so we will enter pp01 production general and then execute the transaction we get the output here so here we can see you know say first for this product level 0 product all level 1 are here appearing the first level and then this first level material this is having its second level bom see here this is having all these next level after that the uh, the second material right so what is the second material you are having this empty is the purchase item so it is not appearing then we have this next level cp105 then we have cp103 so these are the first level which is completed and then to produce is in inline helical gearbox this is what the bom is see here right and then to produce this inline helical gearbox we have this in output and also the input 
now we are seeing the bym for input next level then output as a next level so level by level right first we saw the finished product then the next level we are seeing it and then from here we are see next level for the levels this is what the level by level bym okay and then multi level bym what is a multi level bym in level by level we saw the bym after each level first level one for that to produce what are the components okay from there we saw for each item what is the next level to be produced in the multi level we start with the product and we will go until the complete end of the bill of material that is all multi level full level we see here for example to produce this finished product we need sub assembly 1 to produce this sub assembly 1 we need component 3 and component 4 to produce component 3 raw metal 1 so this is the first all the multi levels of the product will be summarized first and then next is the sub assembly 2 all the levels of the BOM of the sub assembly 2 will be appearing and then all the components will appear this is called the multi level which means it will go all to the last stage up to the last stage how to see this in SAP here we have seen translation code CS12 and here we enter the metal code plant the BOM application then execute it see now we can see the bill of material the first you know it is taking this level 0 then level 1 2 3 then for 3 there are some metal then 4 like this completing all and then it is going for the next the second level BOMs the three third level is going similarly taking the next to the second level you say in third level so to understand this x the level of the BOM now that one two three this is what we told we have to understand what is the level when you see this level reading the bill of it will be easy so level by level, level BOM is used to some purposes and multi-level BOM is for use for some other purposes for example, we want to find out what is the root cause for the bill of metal quantity is wrong or something like that. We can use this multi-level BOM. So, we can take a one branch and see until the end of this BOM what is happening, how the metals are carried over from one level to another level. And then there is another requirement that I don't want to see all the levels and all. I want to see finally what is the materials which are required to produce this product as a summarized view. That is what I need. That also SAP is given the option. Summa summarized view means what will happen in this example summarized BOM will show the BOM of the finished product if you take it will show all these components raw materials mean these are the last stage of the BOM last level of BOM after these materials there is no further BOM that is up to that level is showing that is called summarized BOM right so this will be required some cases that what are the metals we need to purchase how much total we need to purchase to have a broad purchase uh, activities and also ultimately which kind of components we have to procure from outside for those purposes summarize BOM will be helpful how to see the summarize BOM in SAP by using transaction CS13 this, time, this will be shown for example with this enter the material plant BOM application now we are see all the components until the end of this product no here we don't see the levels we don't see level 0 level 1 level 2 these things we don't see final the component list with what is the quantity required that is what is appearing here this is the summarized BOM and then in uh, uh, when you are doing this production planning or any purchasing normally when there is a component this component is used in which kind of products we may need to know it for example there may be a component suddenly there may be stock out or there may be excess stock or there may be obsolescence there may be delay of this product in other case we want to understand which are all the products which are going to get affected because of this component at that time we will use this report called where used list here the transaction CS15 is used by entering this transaction then put these materials and then click the next uh, stage uh, to go to the next stage click the button what is shown here then we go here to see what is the required quantity for example with this component one the what is the entered component with this one number of this uh, component what are the products we can produce how much quantity you can produce that you can see so enter this required quantity 7 execute the report and execute it we are seeing the result here so this component cp013 is used in this SGNC training component output here op1001 it is one piece is required to produce one product required quantity resulting quantity is also one we can see both the results here so we are seeing here how much quantity is used using this how much you are producing the product what you are searching that also we can see this is very useful in analyzing any issues with respect to procurement any quantity uh, exceptions for those kind of things this will be much helpful also there is sudden increase in price of one particular component so 
what is the impact of the price of this component various products we can use this report and then normally when i have the bill of materials uh, some products may have similar bill of materials at that time we may have some confusion or we want to understand what exactly the difference between these bill of materials that also we can see through sap what is the difference between this bum or we can compare them when you have this comparison of bum you are using can transaction called cs14 another cs14 enter the material codes like this these are all the materials we are having these materials we are using here and now also here enter what is the, the application and what is the date of this bum comparison that also will enter it and other details wherever it is required now we are having various options to see this multi level bum we can see a single level comparison and multi level comparison also we can see summarized comparison and differentiated comparison after entering these these tiles then we execute this transaction we getting the result like this so it is showing all the components in both these materials and is showing here in this product these are the components required and in this product these are the components required also system is highlighting what is the difference between these things using these signals please observe these signals system is giving this signal this signal is showing that what are all the materials which are having exactly same in both bum that we can see also we can see which are all the materials which are available in only one bum or the material is available in both the bum but there is a quantity difference like this we can see the comparison so this is giving very clear idea the comparison of bum so this is very very useful for the design people for production planning people even the production execution people when they want to compare some bum we can see these comparisons also sometimes we want to propose some alternate product to another customer so what is the kind of a components which may need those kind of analysis we can do with this report and then there will be requirement that there is a change in the product or there is a change in design or change in requirement from customers so we need to change one particular component or some quantity something we need to change and we may have a component used in 100 products or 200 products or so may be used going and changing the bum individually one by one will be difficult so there is option to do mass change of the bum so this is done through transaction called cs20 so here we have various options here like so what are all item category what change number with respect to and which are all the bum categories we want to refer and also which material we are going to put there from this metal to this material what quantity you have to replace and what will should be done whether you have to change only or you have to delete it or you have to add the material or you have to add the document many options are there to do this comparison now let us see take one example here that we are taking a product and enter here and we are entering the details of this product here for example the material what is shown here and then we execute it and it is showing this list of materials where it is there so this is the metal now initially we took and we execute this uh, transaction we want to this change of the change view item right so and do this change what's happening here then we are getting the details of this uh, product which is listing out in various products these are all the products which is here so here i highlighted some of these areas because i got the, some screenshot which i could not get immediately so this is from one of our customers uh, uh, factory so that's why i hidden this uh, uh, page i'm sorry for this but you will get this list once you get this list then I execute them we will get the results it will be updated automatically in this from this much quantity to this much quantity are changing the like that we will get the result and also finally we will see the comparison after completing this bum we also see the comparison here the component is changed from this to this no one to two it is changed like this we can see when you execute this transaction cs20 practice it in test system first or there is some sandbox to understand the impact but this is a very powerful tool various options are there i am just showing the way how to use this report that's it okay right so in this session we discuss about the levels of bill of materials which is very important to analyze any bill of material and then we talk about different reports to see level by level multi level summarized level and also comparison of bum also we discuss how to vary where used bum also we discuss and then also we saw how to do the mass change in bill of material so we understood bill of materials we have to go to the next uh, master data which is called work centers that will be discussed in the next session please give your feedback to improve the flow and confidence and if you want to improve your career to the next level okay then you may do some international certifications like apix is uh, one of the leading uh, supply chain certification in uh, agencies 
where they give very good uh, qualified certificates like a certified supply chain professional, certified logistics, transportation and distribution. These are world renowned certifications and these are giving very good knowledge of supply chain deep and broad, you know, deep and breadth is a covering. So this will be adding a good weightage to your uh, resume. You can go for a good job and also in current job also you can perform much, much better than your current position when you are going through the certification course. If you need any support on this, please contact me in the details given here. Thank you. See you in the next session. Bye until then.